Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've had a lot of questions recently about how I actually build my sites on my local computer, building them on local hosts. And it's really easy to do. I use a free piece of software called XAMPP. I'll put this link below the video. I use the Windows version here. It's absolutely free. They've got a Windows, a Linux version and a Mac version but like I say I use the Windows version simply download the version that works for your system once it's downloaded go ahead and install it it's really light and once you've got it installed simply go to localhost type localhost into your browser well, let's get a new tab up And it'll bring you to the main interface for the XAMPP software. So how do you set up a WordPress site? That too is really easy. Go to WordPress.org. And again, I'll put this link below this video. Download the latest version. So hit the Get WordPress button. And about halfway down the page, you'll see a Download WordPress. And as you can see, it's being downloaded to my browser window here. Now, you're, if you're, I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using a different one, it'll probably download to your default location. Once you've got it downloaded, it's a zip file, so you need to extract it. And it'll extract it into a little folder. And these are all the things we need, our core WordPress files to set up on our local host. Now, you've got the XAMPP installed already. Once you've got it installed in your root folder or my C directory, which is usually your root folder, your main drive, you'll see a little folder there called XAMP. If you go inside the XAMP folder, you'll see another folder down here called htdocs. There it is right there. And this is where we set up our WordPress sites. And as you can see, I've got, I have no idea how many I've got, 40 or so sites there that I've used for development and uh, demonstrations and things. So set up a new site, create a new folder, give it a name. I'll call it uh, new WP for new WordPress. Call it whatever you want. It's a good idea to call it the site name but I, I've got no real idea for this site as it's just a new WordPress site. Once you've got it there, go inside that folder we're going to copy all the files that we just extracted from our new WordPress download. Copy those, control C, paste them in to my new folder here in my htdocs. Okay, so we've got that there. Now the way a WordPress site works, it's made out of two components really. We've got our files and we've got a database. So we, we've got our files here, we need to set up the database. And that we do with our XAMPP. Like I say, when you've browsed to your local host, to your dashboard here for your XAMPP, I want to go to PHP My Admin. And we want to set up a new database. So I'm actually going to set up a new user account. So I'm going to go to User Accounts. I'm going to hit Add New User right here going to give it a name. I guess I'll use the same as I've used for the site there, new WP for convenience for this demonstration. You can leave it on any host. I tend to put it on local host. Password, I'll just put in a simple password. You can generate a strong password if you want. That's entirely up to you. Now I'm going to go down a little bit here and database for user account. I'm going to say create a database with the same name and grant all privileges. So I'm going to check that. You can check all the global privileges if you want to, but we've already given it the privileges here. When you're happy, I'm going to go down to the bottom, just hit the go. And it says you've added a new user. Great. So all we need to do now we created the new WP in our HD doc, so that's what we need to browse to to set up our new WordPress site. 
So I'm already in localhost. I can just type it on the end of here. Localhost forward slash and the name of whatever your folder was. New WP, mine was. Hit enter. And there we are. We've got a regular WordPress setup here. Hit the continue. Now we know we've given our database a name and a password and a host. So let's hit let's go. Database name was uh, new WP. Username, I use the same thing for convenience for this particular site. Password, same thing again for this particular site. I do recommend you put a stronger password than that in. Localhost, it was localhost, that's absolutely fine. Table brief prefix, well the default's WP dash there or WP underscore. It's usually a good idea to change it to something else. Doesn't matter what you change it to. As long as it's not WP, because that just makes that's one less thing that somebody has to hack if they want to hack in there. So we've got our name, username, password, and database host in there. Let's hit the submit. All right, you're ready to run the installation. If you've got one of those wrongs, it'll cut wrong. It'll come up with a database connection error right here. Okay, we'll give our site a title, and we'll. Give it a username again i'll use it very simple just for this demonstration and it'll flag this password because it's very weak confirm use of weak password you've got to put an email address in and that's for um if you get locked out of course if we're working on local hosts you can't send an email from local host so it makes no difference what you put in here but it won't let you proceed unless you put an email in there so let's go ahead and install WordPress. There we go. And as quick as that, I haven't sped up or anything. It's done it that quickly. We'll go ahead and hit login. And now to log in, you just go to localhost, the name of the folder you put the installation in, which is usually the name of the website. That's what I use. And WP admin. WP login will work. But if we put WP admin, it'll redirect to the same thing. There we go. Now we need to put in our username and the password and go ahead and log in. And there we are. We've got a we've got a very simple setup for a WordPress site on our local host here. We've got the latest version of WordPress. And you can start building like any other site. You can go down, install themes, plugins, whatever you want to put in there. So that's how to start developing using localhost. I hope that answered your question. It's what I've been using for the last, gosh, 10 or 11 years, I should think. It's really simple to do. It's a great way of developing sites offline. And you can simply migrate them online when you're happy. There's a great free plugin I use, like to use for that called uh, WP Vivid and I've made videos about that before now also. So like I say, I've put all these links below the video. I hope that's answered your question. Okay, there we go. Well, I hope you found this useful today and enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.